Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video and welcome to a money making guide. I haven't seen one of these from me for quite a while. Uh, it's one that I recently um, discovered that uh, proved to be uh, a lot better than I thought. It is mining basalt in Weiss, which is the place that you enter during making friends with my arm quest. That quest is a requirement for this method as well as level 72 mining to be able to mine the basalt. Uh, this is a very simple method and I will be explaining it fully in this video as well as how to get there and what the profit per hour is from this. So hope you guys enjoy. What you'll be mining and making in this video is icy basalt or uh, stony basalt which are two teleport tablets that take you to the Weiss herb patch and the Troll Stronghold herb patch respectively or close to those locations. So these might be useful if you're an Iron Man as well and you want uh, quick access to these um, herb spots. So they are in quite demand as um, it like, does save a lot of uh, time in the game so uh, this method is certainly going to be very viable for a while. In terms of reaching Weiss, there's a few different ways you can go. Uh, the easiest way is to use a icy basalt, which is a bit ironic because that's what we're going to be uh, creating uh, in this money making guide. But you can also get there by taking the boat from Larry, which is north of Relica. You can use the ferry room code DKs and that'll take you just near him. So, yeah, use the boat and make your way up towards the herb patch and cross over. And yeah, you should remember this bit from the quest. You need to run all the way around uh, to the bit where you fought the final boss. And once you're there, you want to head down the dungeon, which is located, uh, or the stairs located in the north corner. And yes, welcome to the basalt mine. If you can either, you can take an iron pickaxe if you forgot to bring one yourself, but I'm sure you've got one. And we've got a range of rocks, so I will be talking you through each one of these, what they do, and how you can make money. First up, we've got tea salt, uh, T-E, to spell that out for you if you can work it out. Um, it is the salt that we will use to make the teleport tabs, and you get uh, one tab per uh, one bit of salt. But when you mine it, as you do with all the rocks other than the basalts, uh, you will mine multiple at a time. It's usually between five and seven, depending on whether you have the mining cape or the rock armor or both on. So uh, it's very easy to do, simply click on the rock, and it mines similar to the motherlode mine. And yes, we'll be using this to make the teleport tabs and the ratio from with these with the other salts I'm about to talk about is one to three. Next up, we've got the blue rocks, which is the EFH salt. I'm not really sure how that's the best way to pronounce that. Just say F salt. Uh, this is the blue one, so this is what you'll be using to create the um, teleport tab that I used at the start of the video. Uh, as I said, the ratio is one to three. So for every three of the EF salt um, and one of the red salt, uh, you will create one teleport tab. So yes, three to one. Uh, it mines in the same way and it stacks in the same way too, so nothing too complicated about this. The final stackable salt is the green one, so this is called the earth salt, but uh, we're just going to call them green, blue and red uh, to make things easier. And as I said, it mines in the same way and it is used with the red salt to create this troll stronghold teleport tabs. So this is very useful when uh, farming herb patches and yes, uh, stacks in the normal way and you'll mine it at roughly the same speed as all the other ones, but yeah, only 5 XP. Uh, per bit of salt so the xp rates are certainly not attractive about this but as i'll get into the money certainly is last but not least we've got the basalt so these are the really important ones and they do not stack um, hence we can see them forming in normally in my inventory so uh, these are the black rocks located around the area there aren't quite as many of these and they're not as close together as the other ones but there is a specific spot that is good for mining these if you're making teleport tabs uh, i'll be getting into that uh, shortly and yes it only gives 5 XP each time but uh, the basalt itself uh, is worth about 600 GP so there is a method I'm going to talk about where you can just uh, mine basalt and banknote it but uh, we're going to be mainly focusing on creating teleport tabs uh, using a combination of these four different types of basalt. To make teleport tabs it is very straightforward all you do is use either your eth salt or your ug salt on the basalt and you'll choose which teleport tab you want to create and the ratio is one three one so one red one blue slash green and one basalt per teleport tab however if you do not want to make um, teleport tablets you can make use of snowflake outside who's someone uh, you would have met in the making friends with my arm quest so as soon as you've got a full inventory of uh, basalt I recommend mining these two rocks which are nearest to the entrance you want to make your way back to the entrance to this dungeon and then use the basalt on Snowflake in the southern part of this uh, area. 
and he will note them for you and then you can head straight back and mine some more and yeah for the record 24 basalt worth 16k almost 700 gp each yeah the price changing a little bit lately um but yeah an effective way uh, to um, make a bit of profit um, but that's not what i'm going to recommend the strategy for mining teleport tabs is very very simple uh, simply calculate the number that you want to make and then apply the ratio that i spoke about before so one red three blue or green and one basalt per teleport tab so uh, in my hour that i did to test this method i mined 500 red and then 1500 green or blue or a mixture of the two depending on what you want to do and which ones you want to make and then after you've done that just mine the basalt and then make the teleport tabs as you go i usually recommend stocking up on the red and green or blue salt right at the start as it just kind of makes the process a bit simpler and yes as i said very easy to use the basalt on the salt and make the teleport tabs just by using the normal function and yeah it's pretty afk too because you can mine lots of basalt per rock and you don't have to click really too much if you use these two basalt rocks that i'm highlighting here you can see my position on the mini map um, they are the closest together in the cave and make for very efficient mining. You've also got a supply of red, green and blue rocks around if you do run out of them. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do that but I found this for me to be the most efficient and I will find out how many teleport tabs I made in the next clip. Okay, just coming up to an entire hour of mining basalt and making uh, Troll Stronghold teleport tabs and it looks like we made 610. Um, or 611 just with this uh, last one. So yes, I timed myself on this. I spent 20 minutes at the start mining the basic salt and then the other 40 minutes mining basalt only. So yes, Troll Stronghold. And that's worth uh, called Stony Basalt overall, 1,028 per piece. So 628K according to the price checker. Just to prove that it is a good money maker, uh, selling that on the Grand Exchange, 611k I got in total. So it did take a bit of time to sell, um, but uh, it still sold in the end. So 611k from an hour of mining and creating teleport tabs. The mining experience is obviously pretty bad. It's only about 5,000 to 6,000 XP per hour, depending on how much you mine. And it's not the reason why you are doing this method. It is to make money. And although 611K may not seem like a lot to some players, uh, considering how low effort this method is, I think it's very, very good, especially if you're just maybe looking for a rebuild or you just want to AFK and do something else and uh, make a little bit of profit um, while you're doing it. Or if you're feeling even more, um, on a journey you can uh, do this to um, from 72 to 99 mining and you'll sure make a fair bit of money from that but it uh, might take an eternity so i don't recommend that but yeah 600k plus per hour those prices for those teleport tabs uh, are unlikely to change as they're in high demand due to farming uh, weiss and troll stronghold are two disease free herb patches and the players need these um, to uh, get there and uh, farm the herbs efficiently you can also put these in your player owned house if you mine enough of each type of salt you can put that in the portal nexus if you want in general i found this very relaxing to do and as i said i was doing other things while i was doing uh, that hour as well just having the notifier on as soon as i stopped mining the rock that helps if you want to afk a little bit and yeah about 600 tabs an hour uh, may vary depending on mining levels but not too much you're always going to make at least 500. i don't recommend doing the banknote basalt method that's why i haven't included the numbers in that uh, the profit is nowhere near as much as for this so uh, if you can definitely go for this method or if you do want to do the banknote method that's fine as well but i do recommend the teleport tabs as they will make you more profit over time so that's going to be it for this video hope i made everything clear on that and if i didn't uh, feel free to let me know in the comments and i will reply as best as i can but in the meantime take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next video